for me? You gonna fix that? You need a wrench? Go to the toolbox, go get him. Go get a wrench. Go get me the wrench. No, I'm just kidding. So this thing, uh, 83185S, picked up on Craigslist. Um, I'm gonna go over what to look for. I literally haven't done anything to this thing. I unload it from the truck, put on the bike lift with the crate underneath, straps so it doesn't fall on me, and uh, yeah, so let's just go over this thing real quick. Seat, original. Uh, been out in the sun for a little bit. Um, check the tank, make sure there's no rust. Oh my gosh, no rust. Awesome. Check the head tube, make sure there's no cracks. Check the VIN tag, make sure that it's there. Um, you can cross reference the uh, tag number with the engine number. Just look and go over the motor, see if there's any leaks. I always like to look underneath and check out, see if drain plugs have been welded or broken or stripped or anything of that nature. Case looks all good, frame looks good. Uh, looks like somebody put degreaser on here and didn't actually spray it off, so that's no big deal. It just looks like shit. Um, tires, I usually don't really care about looking at too much because generally these things are so old that they're uh, shot anyway. As you can tell, like all this cracks and shit. I mean, they're not safe to ride on. So. Um, exhaust, got spark arrestor in there, which is good if you're a California guy. Look at the axles, roll it backward and forward. If it doesn't run, make sure your axles aren't bent. And then I just look at it overall, see how straight it is. Stand in front of it. I know sometimes tires are flat, so it's going to be kind of wampus and all that shit. Um, but yeah, just look at it and make sure, like, see this bar's a little lower. No biggie. Probably been tipped over. You know, there's a fucking three-wheeler. Um, forks. I uh, pull the boots up to see if they're leaking. It's amazing these aren't leaking. Let's check the other one. That one's not leaking either. Awesome. Brakes are all intact. Just try to look and see if anything sticks out at you. I try to look for tape, um, miscellaneous drywall screws, things that tell you that the person was not mechanically inclined and just did whatever they could just to throw it together just to go for another romp. Um, next thing you do is uh, pull the seat off. This one's going to push shit. Let's just see if I can do it with one hand. Nope. Plastics off. It's amazing, even the seat pan looks good. Looks like they filled small cracks with uh, some fucking, I don't know, epoxy or some shit. No big deal. And then uh, when you get plastic off, you can really get an idea of the condition of the frame. As far as rust, this is all just surface rust. There's no cracks anywhere. This so also looks good. Even these boots, normally they crack and pretty much just disintegrate, but they haven't, so. So far, this thing is looking mint for a barn find. Um, look at the plug, just see just how old it is. See how this one's clean. I mean, the uh, Orson's all cracked. I mean, this thing's, like I said, it's out for 10 years, but at least they did do some maintenance on it. So that's just the overall. But um, oil. Oh, your dipstick out. If it doesn't have a dipstick, it's a crankcase, like a two-stroke or something. And if you do have a screwdriver, I always bring a Leatherman with me so I can pull the little screw for the weep hole. If oil comes out of it, great, it was full um, or close to it. If not, then you can tell they didn't put fucking shit in. This one doesn't look that bad, especially for sitting for 10 years. It is full. I already wiped it off and checked it so don't comment and say, well, you didn't wipe it and stick it back in, but um, yeah. I don't know if you can see in there, I really can't either, but it looks fine. Um, so far I'm pretty thrilled with this $200 purchase. So yeah, that's just my quick overall, that's just what I look for, just the simple things, anything that sticks out at you. Um, you always want to consider how much it is, if it has a title, if it's been registered, all that crap. These things are so old. City of California, they fall off DMV within 10 years, so I actually like to see on the title that nothing's happened in 10 years, or you know, if it's out like a year or two, no big deal. But uh, California does do back fees, so these things can get quite expensive if you do plan on writing it um, in public parks. So, 
Anyway, that's that. Uh, next video, I will uh, drain all the shit out of this thing. Uh, I'll clean the tank out, clean the car out, oil, all that shit. Just degunk it, and we'll go from there.